It's going to be a beautiful day. We're already in the low 50s. That's all the more we've dropped off temperature wise overnight. And uh, we've got uh, dew point that is in the mid 30s. So the air is still, you know, fairly dry, but an east wind is eventually going to become more south southwesterly. And as that happens, two things will occur. We'll warm up even more so than we've been the last couple of days. 70s on the way. We'll also start to ramp moisture up and eventually we are going to get wet. So it's 40s up in Flemingsburg, the same down south. Monticello, well, look at that, you're only down to 40 degrees. So no big frigid chill anywhere this morning. Temperature is very mild. And as far as opening day for the spring meet at Keeneland, it is a day early, as I'm sure you know by now. Boy, they picked a winter for today for sure because we've got sunshine out there and it'll be hazy sunshine. As we go through the day, we're likely going to see clouds get thicker, especially by late this afternoon into this evening. But look at that. Uh, by early to mid afternoon, we're soaring up into the low 70s in Lexington. Some of our eastern southeastern counties may get into the low to mid 70s. It is going to be incredibly warm, but there's a price to pay. Eventually, those clouds will thicken up this evening and some rain will go along with it. So. High temperatures get knocked down a peg tomorrow due to the rain that's on the move and the system moving through the Ohio Valley. Then another warm surge this weekend and then the drop as our shower and storm chances ramp up. But if you look at the highs, the bottom point is in the mid 60s, which is around our average high. It climbs from the low 60s today to the mid 60s by the end of this run. So, you know, it's not going to be unusually cool anytime soon. Now that's likely going to happen later in the month of April, but for now we are really warm. And there is a little bit of moisture out there showing up on the Max Track Live. Some lighter showers scattered across Ohio and Indiana. The deeper moisture, the showers, the thunder showers off to the west. Pretty easy to pick those out. And you can see that swirl of low pressure between Wichita and Oklahoma City. So that low is going to make a run at the Ohio Valley tomorrow. And as it does so, it will spread rain chances in here. But as far as the timing goes, it's likely going to be overnight. So, I mean, if we've got to deal with it, you may as well get it through overnight. The good news, the severe storm threat, as I talked about yesterday, today and tomorrow, suppressed down to the south. So we may have some rumbles of thunder overnight as this comes through, but we're mainly talking about rain. Clouds thicken up later on today. Showers develop late this evening. That's 11 o'clock tonight. We're still waiting on it for most folks. So, yeah, overnight tomorrow morning, pretty soggy setup. And then the bulk of the moisture is through by lunchtime. And we've only got a few fading showers later on in the day. So yeah, this is really, really good timing for us. Now the rain, we're still looking anywhere between about a quarter to a half an inch. So we'll get soaked, it'll move through, and then we'll quickly dry out going into the weekend. Unfortunately, the entire weekend does not look dry. Uh, we could wrap it up with some shower chances as well. Partly sunny, breezy, very warm. High surge to the low to even mid 70s in spots with that south to southwesterly wind getting breezy at times. Rain likely overnight, some rumbles of thunder a possibility. And then tomorrow temperatures do take a hit, but even then we're cooling down to slightly above our average high. So good news there. By the end of the weekend, after a beautiful Saturday, watch out for some showers trying to creep back in Sunday afternoon.